so this reading is a bit different. We got four bios. This reading going to be about what happened in between you and them. So your energy and their energy and anything we can see about what's going on in this connection between you and them. So it's going to be your energy, their energy. So yeah. One, two, three, four. Choose one. What happened in between you two in this connection? Where you stand, what happening, what going on? Choose one. So number one here. Yeah, I'm sensing on a little bit heavy energy. So usually I do a lot of like bios. I know people are like, hey, do your reading a bit longer, stuff like that. It's better to do a lot of bios so it will be like more accurate or something, I think. Or not like you don't have to you don't have to listen to all the possibilities or stories about other people it could be that it could be a third party it could be that it could be that you know because a lot of people are watching uh, i feel a heavy energy here like someone is choking someone cannot talk someone cannot breathe i feel like it's you and also them this person is, let's, let's start with you here. I feel like you are hoping for a comeback with this person. You're hoping for this person to change or not to be a sneaky person anymore. So take it how it resonates. Energy could be reversed like you, them. But I'm saying this is you on this side. You're hoping for this person to not be sneaky. You're hoping for this person to appreciate you, basically. You're hoping that this person will see your true value and will, like, appreciate who you are, will not take you for granted, stuff like that. Also, you have this really huge attraction to this person. And uh, even when you try to move on or you try to walk away, I feel like you have this huge attraction toward this person. Like you want to make love to this person. You want to have babies, I heard. You have this like idea that you, you really passionately want to come back. But sometimes you try to go forward and be like, hey, I'm an independent person. I'm a strong person. I don't need, I know my self-worth. I'm going to go forward, like just ignore this energy. But you're deep inside hoping for a change. I feel like this person is not willing to change anytime soon. This person is, uh, they think that you're always going to be the one who understands them. You're always going to be the one who will know what they feel. You're always going to be the one who understands and know when they feel in pain and when uh, when they need you. So it's like they, I feel like they know that you were always there or you want, you were always there when they felt down. So they basically feel like, Maybe if they done something or they did something now or they acted a certain way, you're going to be the one who say sorry. You're going to be the bigger person or something like that. Their energy. I feel like this person is... Uh, uh, this person's like, I'm seeing this person holding a tiny knife. Doesn't mind hurting you a little bit, like stabbing you a little bit with the knife. Is They feel like this tiny vein that they, they cause you it will make you uh be around them more or will make you it's like this person have some toxic behavior will make you be committed to them more it's like they feel like whatever damage they've been doing to you they feel it's not that big of a deal like it's not a big damage like they feel like hurt you a little bit for you to come back to them and they test your love or something this person got some toxic really really disgusting energy like a little bit with their behavior they do love you they want to have this relation relationship with you but they want to feel like you like this woman is like always there they want to feel like you're never gonna leave like their hand is there uh they they stab you to test you it's like really disgusting but i'm saying this person giving you a lot of like pain sometime or do something painful to you they want to test you test you to stay around it's so disgusting this person feel like you're always gonna be the one who feel them uh, so as i said they always gonna wait for that they still in this energy this person is still waiting and absorbing if this last fight or last trick happened gonna make you keep like coming back to them and asking about them or something like that it's terrible number one Sorry for this energy. Number two, you and them. What's happening between you and them? This is you, your energy. I feel like you're tired from men or women. 
or whatever gender you prefer, whatever gender you are, whatever you like, but you're tired from the gender that uh, you attracted to, always seeing you as someone a booty call or someone really hot. They not they don't see your face, they don't ad, they admire whatever you do or they just basically admire the shallow things in you and also they do not care about your feelings. You you feel like you always found yourself in a relationship where people didn't or that your partners didn't acknowledge your feelings that much or didn't like try so hard or put an effort to understand what you feel what makes you sad or something like that and you felt like you're always the one who like you always needed to work extra but they didn't understand they didn't even try to understand you that much i feel like there's a lack of someone connecting to you that's why you feel like you want someone who connects to you and feel when you're sad and if they hurt you they will come back and say sorry because they don't like to see you in pain or something like that i feel like you are tired i feel like you're tired right now you're very tired you feel like you're about to just turn negative about relationship or turn solo like you want to go solo you don't want to be in a new relationship you're very tired i feel like you're very tired but you're still a little bit hopeful like you're still like hopeful but not totally it's like almost 40 percent hopeful about this connection or any connection you're hopeful about love but you're just really tired i feel and you feel like you wanna you want revenge you want revenge or you want bay back from this person you want bay back or something like that this person energy, this person is totally in love with you. This person is very in love with you. They want to give you a lot of love. They want to give you whatever they have. They want to share whatever they have. But this person have a habit of like giving people a little bit or before in relationship, they expected what their partner to be thankful or grateful even if they answered a text message or something like that. They expected to be admired whatever they do. Like if they ignored you five days and answered you one day, they want to be thankful. They had partner who've been like really not good and they've been very thankful about this person giving them time or if this person behaved really bad, they didn't care. They were like taking advantage of this person now they were really not good with this person so this person just had this like ego really building up through, throughout the years okay and they just liked it this way they didn't want to change they're very toxic they're very negative and uh, they didn't want to change it but like this person used to letting people clean their trash or clean whatever mess they have it's like this person used to flip things like in a fight they used to win because those people didn't really care or they they were with people who really didn't have self-esteem or anything they were shallow a gold digger or something like that they just wanted something from this person it's like they he or she they used to win a fight and by flipping it on the other person's like when the other person confront them about something they just say hey they gaslight the person or they say things to this person and this person say and this person they say shit so it's like hey you, you know i didn't do that you're that they flip the tables on the sp the other person they flip things on the other person and the other person didn't say anything they just said sorry and obeyed whatever this person said so they used to get out of fight this way so they feel like they do want it this way they don't want to change they want it the old way they want it this way with you it's not happening this person's trying to make it this way. I feel like recently, this person, you enlightened this person a lot. You changed this person a lot, but not totally. I feel like for you, this person is not acceptable. Whatever they're doing, it's not acceptable. But you did change a lot of things on this person. This person is very in love with you, but at the same time, very stubborn. They don't want to come forward toward you. They feel like they need to protect themselves, protect their energy, their peaceful love energy inside them from everybody, even from you. They don't want to let anybody in, so they guard themselves. They feel like they need to protect themselves. They feel like this way is better. I don't feel like this person was really in love with anybody. They were in love, but those partners, they, they were like that. So they just like felt like those partners were there kissing their ass and they liked it. They didn't even know what, like they were in love with those people. They were in love. They were like in a relationship. But when they met you, they realized this is really, really love. This is where they, they always wanted something really real with you, but they cannot just quit their habit, the way they behave, you know? 
So I'm sensing this person right now is in a fog, like in a mental fog where they don't know what happened. I don't know what you did to this person. They know what happened. They don't know how to deal with that. It's like there's no other way either to walk away from you totally and just be in their sickness or to change. I feel like you, you did put this person in a cross in a cross path or something like that. So they need to change or just like you're not you're not gonna accept their bullshit. This person gonna give you a present. Are they gonna try to woo you with something? I don't feel like it gonna slide easily. <laughs> like I feel like this person gonna try to basically give you a gift or a present or something, or they try to do something for you to forget about what they done or what how they hurt you. But you're not stupid. I don't feel like this person met anybody like you. I feel like you're gonna throw it just right on their face. Number three, you and them. You're not really in love with this person and this person is in love with you. Even if you think you're in love with this person, you're not. You're not totally in love with this person. This is not love. You feel a connection with this person, you feel something sexual, but you are very withdrawn emotionally from this person. You are. You are withdrawn away or you're taking away your energy. For some of you, I feel like you're not even aware that you're withdrawn from this person. You feel like this is love, but it's not really real love. It's just something else. It's just something to feel cozy with, something to feel warm with, something to lay down, someone to lay down in bed with, someone to comfort you. Uh, till you feel beast, then you're going to walk away. So it's not really true love for this person. This person is in love with you madly, but this is the but again. This is a karmic relationship. This person is in love with you madly, but they have a lot of things they need to learn. They have a lesson to learn how to not fall for a people like who will just... This person have a tendency to give a lot of love to people and uh, just give, give. They don't even care if the people give giving them love or not. This is the lesson they need to learn. I'm sensing Number four, you and them. What's going on in this relationship or connection? This is you. Woo, 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 woo. Juiciness number five. Juiciness. My juice, my juice number five. I need it for respect because this energy is too much. Mm, number five. Someone gonna ring the alarm. You gonna do this. Spirit gonna help you. Hear your energy. You are a princess. You are a queen. You are everything. Your energy is everything. You are, you are the high priestess. You are everything. You are everything. You are very sexy. Very strong. At the same time, very emotional. At the same time, you can be very sharp and cutting. You know how to balance your energy. You know when to use what and what you know how to be balanced in total this is some kind of i feel like this is a trick nobody know how this is like an energy nobody not everybody know how to use it even those people who think that they have it or they are able to use those energies they uh, they're not i feel like some, not all people you know what i mean like not everyone know when to be angry, when not to be angry, when to allow, allow love, and when to be sharp and cutting. I feel like you know how to do that. Like I feel like you get judged a lot from people. Or you, got, you don't give a fuck about it. Like someone telling you, hey, you're cold, and other people telling you, hey, sometimes I don't expect you to be that loving because it's you with a puppy. It's like, I don't know what do you want me to do. It's like it's, the people don't understand you, only stupid people. No offense. Uh, I don't know why I said no offense. There's something here coming. Wait. The other person is stupid. That's why. You're in love with someone stupid. So this is your energy I'm sensing here. Like you were like giving this person love. Even when you were like working at work. You had a billion things to do. You're giving this person love. You give them this person nurture. This person do a lot of stupid things. You're still trying to fix it. You're still trying to... But common sense in them. You are this this person was trying to this person was trying to do a lot of shit. Basically you don't you, you didn't even flirt with other people or something like that. You're just like we're really 
trying to work it out with this person. I feel like a lot of people want you in the same time. And uh, I feel like now your energy is like you want this person to feel like they're just like like one of the rest, like like everybody else. Even if you have feelings toward them or not, I feel like you're just fed up. I feel like you're just like looking the other way, like you're just done. Like why? Like show me why should I stay with you? Why? Like basically you don't even want to look at this person's face. Like you're just like you don't want to look at this person's face anymore or something like that. You don't understand why you just want to walk away even if you have feelings feel like things are not fixed with this person or oh, this person is very stupid they done too much so many things this person in a shock mood they having a tower moment right now they're very scared they have an anxiety they cannot sleep they have a panic attack a lot of stressful night this person is very scared very scared they have this fear like now they don't have you they don't have the comfort even if I'm sensitive for some of you, this person didn't give you a lot of things, but they were taking things from you. They were comfort. They you give them comfort by the things that you say. If you talk to them and they ghost you, if you do whatever, they were like having comfort with this feeling that, that they feel like you're there, like you're there with them. And now they feel like you're not there, and it's ta starting to sneak sneak on them like the feeling of being lonely or the feeling of losing you at night i'm sensing this person gets so scared like to the ban to the point where they panic like they get too scared realizing that what happened right like what happened is their fault i'm hearing or something like that this person cannot stop reading something that you wrote if you wrote something to this person they keep reading it over and over again over and over again over and over again this person's like brain is about to crack spirit is trying to make this person feel every fucking feeling that they, they refuse to feel before or whatever thing this person have a tendency to live with pain or to just let pain be around and just be it's not like about being a victim it could be for some of you it's like about this person just accept the pain they just like the yeah like that this victim kind of mentality but you know those people who just want to be in pain and sad for forever they don't wanna even want to heal they just they just want to be in pain something like that weird about this person i change this a lot change a lot in them this person currently is forced to heal by spirit whatever you've done by you giving them a lot or you, you were like giving, giving them time even if you feel like it's not too much it was a lot for them like gave them a lot of comfort and warmth by you taking away your energy making this person feel all the pain that they didn't want to feel you triggered a lot of things for them to heal so they starting to heal right now they're reading some kind of email that you wrote i heard or text message or I'm hearing something by voice or something you left for them. They keep reading it, reading it, and reading it. person feel lost without you and they miss you so badly right now. This person's planning on doing something like to get you back. They, I feel like this person's panicking and they hold their phone. They don't know what to do because of this, the fear that they have sometime. And then they gather themselves up again so they don't break down and text you or do something because this person is not the person who texts or do something like that but the fear is like they cannot bury it it's like a pain that they never felt before they felt like certain pain before of course like everybody goes through pain but in love i mean in love they didn't feel this kind of intensity so i'm sensing this person get up they want to text you they want to do something and it freaks them up that they need to do that and then they just stay frozen and they try to resist it person cry a lot lately they've been crying a lot i feel like maybe you felt it that they, this is what they've been doing they don't have any idea about how to do things right now they just need spirits forcing this person to heal look at their pain so yeah i hope you like this reading like and subscribe love you all you can ask for a person reading my emails down there